One of the most powerful modules ever created for Drupal was the Views module. And in order to build truly dynamic websites, we have to understand this module. So in this video, we're going to take a look and realize, first of all, that views are kind of everywhere in Drupal 8 and how that benefits us. We're going to look at what views are, and then we're going to discover the true power that lies within the views module. One of the most powerful modules ever developed for Drupal is the views module. Now this module has been so widely used and is really the workhorse behind every great Drupal website that the developers of Drupal decided to ship it out as a part of core in Drupal 8. Now when we first installed our Drupal installation, the views module was turned on. And the reason for that is because in Drupal 8, practically every administrative page on your website is in fact a view. So if we come up here to the content tab, while there's no content available to us yet, by going to structure views, we can see that this page is in fact generated by a view. And here we can see the content view and the URL forward slash admin forward slash content, which corresponds to this particular page on our website. Now in the past, this was kind of a functionality built into the system of Drupal, and there wasn't a lot of configuration options that we had to change or modify our content overview page. It just kind of was what it was. But now that everything in Drupal is a view, everything is pretty much as customizable as we would like it to be. So with all that said, what exactly is Views? Well, Views is a content aggregation module, which means that we can filter down and use specific criteria to select content that we would like, and we can display it all together. You see, when we create nodes on our Drupal site, for all intents and purposes, these nodes are absolutely separate. Even though we may create 10 nodes of an article content type, Drupal really doesn't know anything about the other nodes that have been created. All it knows is that when it filters and files them into its database, that they're a part of a specific collection. But beyond that, it really doesn't do anything. So in order to assemble those nodes together and display them on a page, such as a news feed page or a news RSS feed, we need a module that we can say, hey Drupal, give me everything that you have in your database that pertains to the article content type. Once we've done that, we can tell Drupal, and when you're doing that, why don't you give me the title, one of the images, a teaser of the body, and a read more link. Put those all on a page, display 25 of them, and then give me a pager to page to the next 25. See, Views is going to bring all of that together for us and display that either as a page, as a block, as some sort of RSS feed or JSON output. We can even configure it to do other RESTful things as well. And that's really the power behind the Views module is that it takes what was previously separate and brings it together and allows us to filter down by our specified criteria. Now there's a lot of other really cool things that we can do with views such as contextually filtering, but we're going to cover all of that here in the next few lessons. For now, just understand that views is really what brings together all of the content that is otherwise separate on our website and allows us to display it in any way that we want. In the next video, we're going to actually begin the process of setting up a view ourselves.